Hello welcome to Breaking Sign, where we bring you the latest in architecture innovation. Today, we are going to take a look at a stunning house in Portugal that was designed by Espaço Objecto, a multidisciplinary architecture and design studio. This house is called the Gueda House, and it is located in a historic building that dates back to the early 20th century. The house was transformed into a modern and comfortable residence for its owner, who wanted to preserve the original facade and its art deco elements. Let's see how Espaço Objecto achieved this remarkable feat. The site. The house is situated in Agueda, a city in northern Portugal that has a rich cultural heritage and a beautiful natural environment. The house is located in an eclectic architecture building that was classified as public interest property by Agueda UMP, Urban Master Planning. The building has some decorative elements influenced by Art Deco, such as geometric patterns, sunburst motifs, and metal frames. It also has a tower-like element that stands out in its volume try and serves as a decorative effect. The house is integrated into the urban grid plan of Agueda, where single-family dwellings are predominant, and it has a visual relation and proximity to the public garden Consul Jairo Conde de Susina. The Concept the concept behind the house was to create a living space that was both functional and expressive, that could adapt to the needs and preferences of its owners, and that could also reflect their personality and style. The concept was inspired by the idea of, objecto, which means object in Portuguese, and refers to the idea of creating spaces that are not defined by fixed boundaries or functions, but rather by the objects that inhabit them. The concept also aimed to create a dialogue between the old and the new, between the historical and the contemporary, between the eclectic and the modern. The concept was expressed through the use of different materials, colors, textures, shapes, and forms, as well as through the creation of different atmospheres and moods in each space. The Proposal the owner of the house decided to carry out a rehabilitation and expansion project for the building, so it could be suitable for her own residence. The project involved demolition works of the interior divisions, removal of pavements, cleaning, and rehabilitation of the facades. All these works were done with respect for the original design of the building and its historical value. The project also aimed to create interdependent relationships between the different existing interior spaces and the proposed ones, as well as between them and the outdoor space. Moreover, the project considered issues such as energy efficiency through solar orientation and comfort of living. The Program the program consisted of two floors of living space for two people, an entrance area with a living room on one floor, a library on another floor, two bedrooms with walk-in closets and then soot bathrooms on another floor, two more bedrooms with then soot bathrooms on another floor, two kitchen areas on another floor, two backup areas on another floor, an office area on another floor, an outdoor area with a swimming pool, an outdoor area with a barbecue area, an outdoor area with an outdoor kitchen, an outdoor area with an outdoor dining table, an outdoor area with an outdoor sofa set, an outdoor area with an outdoor lounge chair set, an outdoor area with an outdoor hammock set, an outdoor area with an outdoor fire pit set, an outdoor area with an outdoor lighting system set. The Design The design of each space was tailored to meet the needs and preferences of its users. For example, each bedroom had different colors and textures to create different atmospheres depending on whether it was used for sleeping or relaxing. Each bathroom had different materials and finishes to create different levels of privacy depending on whether it was used by one person or two people at once. Each kitchen had different appliances and fixtures to create different functions depending on whether it was used for cooking or entertaining. Each office had different furniture and accessories to create different moods depending on whether it was used for working or studying.
The Style The style of each space was influenced by both modernism and eclecticism to create harmony between functionality and aesthetics depending on whether it was used for everyday life or special occasions. For example, the living room had large windows and sliding doors to connect it with the garden and let in natural light and fresh air. The library had bookshelves and cabinets to store books and display objects. The kitchen had white cabinets and black countertops to contrast each other and create visual interest. The office had wooden furniture and green plants to add warmth and life. The materials. The materials used in the house were carefully selected to create a contrast between the old and the new, between the natural and the artificial, between the warm and the cool. The old materials, such as wood, stone, metal, and glass, were preserved and integrated into the new design, creating a sense of continuity and authenticity. The new materials, such as concrete, steel, plastic, and rubber, were used to create different functions and effects in each space, creating a sense of diversity and innovation. The materials also had different qualities and characteristics that influenced the mood and atmosphere of each space. For example, wood had a natural texture and color that created a cozy and rustic feeling, stone had a rough texture and color that created a solid and elegant feeling, metal had a shiny texture and color that created a modern and dynamic feeling, glass had a transparent texture and color that created a bright and airy feeling, concrete had a smooth texture and color that created a strong and stable feeling, steel had a cold texture and color that created a sharp and futuristic feeling, plastic had a soft texture and color that created a flexible and playful feeling, rubber had an elastic texture and color that created a fun and quirky feeling. That's all for today's episode of Breaking Sign, where we showed you how Espaço Objecto designed this amazing house in Agueda, Portugal. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Well, thanks for joining us today on Breaking Sign. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for more exciting architecture insights. Until next time, keep creative idea running.